sure this is like old news to everyone except me by now, but um, we were having like Wi-Fi issues and I couldn't get it to stay connected for freaking days on end and it was maddening and like it would stay on for like a couple minutes but not long enough to do much of anything. I think, knock on wood, that we finally got that sorted, but um, apparently... Every time I am not constantly connected to the internet, shit hits the fan. Every time. Every time without fail. And this time I come back, and this one kind of hit me out of left field, but the Shadehards are closing their channel. Well, not closing, closing. They use the word ending, but yeah. As most of you know, they are like my favorite YouTube channel of all time. So after I finished bawling over that, it was just like, I mean, I, I understand why they're doing it. And they may not be gone forever. Basically, what the deal is, after that announcement, uh, they said that they would do daily vlogs every day for the next five months. And when those five months are up, they are leaving and not uploading another thing for a year. And at the end of that year... Maybe they'll come back, maybe they won't. I have a feeling once they get used to life without filming every day, they're not going to want to do it anymore, and this is probably their swan song is these five months right here, right now, and that's it. And that really sucks, because, I mean, I know he even said in the live video about it that, yeah, we as viewers need to have healthy boundaries with he and his family and not be so emotionally invested in this, but... You know, after, like, eight years of watching them, I'm sorry, but you're emotionally invested. It happens. And, yeah, I'm yet another one that their videos have gotten me through a hell of a lot of personal shit and were, like, the one rock I could cling to when everything else was up in the air and uncertain and just bad and shitty and terrible. It was, like, the one thing I could count on to remain stable. And while I'm sure people will be jumping in the comments saying, oh, but there's plenty of other daily vlogger channels out there that you could watch instead, it's not the same. It's like getting really attached to your favorite show, and then it ends, and now you have to just pick something new to watch instead with no history there, and it doesn't feel the same. I mean, it's something to watch, but it doesn't fill that particular peg, you know? I mean, it doesn't really feel the same. It's not the same thing. But again, like, I can't be mad at the guy for choosing to want to spend his time with his family, which he should. He should. But just, I don't know. I don't do well with uncertainty. I don't do well with change. People with Asperger's usually don't. But, um, yeah. Like, I guess... The part that bugs me is the not knowing if they will actually come back in a year or not. Like, if I knew for sure that in one year they would for sure come back, even if it's not daily, because I don't expect that they'll ever do daily again after these upcoming five months, um, just that they'd be back at all in any capacity on whatever schedule they choose, even if it's not a real timed, arranged schedule, I would probably feel a lot better with that just in knowing that they're coming back, it's not goodbye forever, but without knowing that for sure, it just feels overwhelming and scary. And I feel like I'm definitely not the only one who feels that way about it. Um, if you also feel that way about this, please let me know in the comments so I don't feel like quite such a freak about this. But yeah, I mean, Shay Carl is a large part of why I started filming videos in the first place. Uh, he was, like, probably the first person I ever saw do vlogs, honestly. And I thought that was, like, a really cool thing to do, even though my life certainly wasn't exciting enough to feel like it was really worth vlogging or doing that with, even though, obviously, I ended up doing it anyway. But, um, although mine was never daily like his was. But, um... Yeah, like, that was inspirational that just, like, regular everyday people can just film their lives and put it on the internet, and people care about it. Even if it's a smaller channel and it's not a lot of people, there will be people who want to watch it and actually care about that, and that was a very cool concept to me. 
thus why I started doing it. And that was how I started finding a bunch of other YouTubers that have become, like, my favorites that I've started watching over time. And each of them have no doubt influenced my channel, too. Like, Graveyard Girl is basically why I started doing the lip balm reviews. Uh, Emmy Eats is why I started doing the taste test reviews, so was Reckless Eating for that matter. Um, and I guess to some degree, Bunny was also, um, why I started doing reviews, too. So, um, which is Graveyard Girl for those who don't watch her, but, um... So those uh, inspired me on those scores. Just the regular vlogs was uh, the Shaytards. The Game Grumps and a bunch of other gaming channels inspired the gameplay videos, even though they're definitely not what I'd like them to be. Um, if I had the hardware to do nice ones, trust me, I'd love to. I just don't have the stuff that's necessary for it. Um, or a strong enough computer to handle it. Uh... So there's those. And just in general, there's like a lot of different YouTubers that have inspired me from all sorts of different angles, and they've all become very important to me, and I've been very invested in their channels ever since. And no doubt, that's why I don't really get much done, because I'm so busy watching them all the time. But, <laughs> you know, it happens. Um, but yeah, it just... It feels like a lot of things are going away right now. It's not the only channel I've seen um, that I cared a lot about that's closing recently, so I'm just like, no, not them. Anyone but them. I could live with literally any other channel shutting down and probably not care except them, because so many years have been invested into that one. It is basically more a sentimental thing on my part than anything. I know that. But... Yeah, I mean, he has a point, I get it, but what can you do, right? I just, uh, it just, it's, it's sad and scary, but I really, really hope they do come back after the year. If they don't, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna hold a grudge against them for not coming back, but it just, I don't know, like I said, the uncertainty is what freaks me out. It always freaks me out on anything. It doesn't matter what it is. If there's uncertainty, I just seem to not be able to deal with that well. But he owes me nothing. He owes none of us anything. So I guess we were lucky to have the channel as long as we did. Because honestly, I thought he was going to close it down um, on year six on his birthday. Um, because that was like when he ended the daily vlogs, and I thought that meant end of the channel. So basically, ever since that day, the whole channel has kind of felt like it's been living on spare time, you know? So, I mean, I guess, if nothing else, I am grateful that we got a whole other two more years out of it than I thought we were going to. But it's still really sad and scary, though. <laughs> and, oh gosh, I... I guess if he made any kind of statement saying if he's for sure coming back in a year or not, I'd feel better, but I highly doubt he'll even ever see this video, much less say anything like that about it, because he doesn't have a crystal ball either, and I'm sure he doesn't know either if he's gonna want to come back in a year, so. Uh, so I guess that's that. Uh... <laughs> Gosh, yeah, I come back from my own internet hiatus, even though it wasn't one by choice in my case, and that is what I return to. Like I said, every time I am offline for even so much as a couple hours, it seems like the shit hits the fan with something, and I missed something big. When I'm here all the time, nothing ever happens, but I leave for like two minutes and something big happens. Every time. <sighs> what can you do? That is basically my timing on things. Just like how I also tend to miss big monumental things by like this much of I was almost there for that thing and missed it by like this much. It just, it happens over and over in my life. So I guess I'm used to it at this point. It sucks, but whatever. What can you do? Yeah, so I'm kind of just rambling now. <laughs> so before this turns into like a even different ramble, I guess it just feels good to vlog again after not being able to really do anything on YouTube for the better part of a week because of internet issues. 
yeah, I'm just gonna end this one here and throw it to the internet. I'm probably gonna get a bunch of hate. I don't know. I probably deserve it, so whatever. I'm posting it anyway. <laughs>